Welcome to United by Trucks. This episode of Submit Your Truck is brought to you by Continental Tire, where between now and June 30th, you can get a $70 prepaid gift card by choosing a set of four of their qualifying tires. And I gotta tell you that the set that we run on UBTK5, our two-wheel drive blazer, the DWS06, is a part of that promotion. So head over to the link down in the description, check out what tires that qualify for this promotion, and get your $70 prepaid gift card today. Now, are you guys ready to jump in to this episode of Submit Your Truck? This is volume two, square body edition, and we've got over 20 trucks in this video for you to take a look at today. So let's jump right in. Hey, UBT family, this is at Rebel MRD here, showing you guys my 1977 C10 short wheelbase. This was originally one of my granddad's trucks. Uh, he died when I was 10 or 11 years old. My grandmother saved the truck for me. My other granddad, he restored it at his body shop uh, about 25 years ago. So pretty much everything you see here has uh, survived my teenage years and college years and things like that. <clears throat> um, the truck's the original colors pretty much everything in its stock other than the engine and transmission. We did put in a crate 305 and 700R4 transmission, uh, but as you can see the interior, it's a little worn, but I love it. Uh, you know, I like to think my granddad was here using the truck, but again, the interior all original other than the seat cover. Uh, we had it done by a, a local upholstery shop in uh, northwest Georgia. Uh, but again, truck's pretty clean. Few little rusty spots after 25 years, but overall looks great. Uh, no major projects planned. I do have an LT engine, but uh, at this point it's a little beyond my technical capabilities. And so I'll be looking for some folks maybe to help me do that swap. Uh, but as you can see, the engine bay is pretty much original. Uh, factory AC currently not working, so my wife refuses to ride anywhere with me. Uh, but other than that, you probably catch me, Roman Northwest Georgia. But again, at Rebel MRD 1977 Chevy C10. This is Miss Plus Size 1979 Chevrolet C30, powered by Big Block. 468 highly terminated e fuel with a 4L80 transmission. She's fully bagged, body dropped on a three quarter custom frame chassis. 22 inch DEMA semi wheels, custom cut K turbos. Got two Viers, got an airlift set up with an eight gallon air tank. Roll pan, full trim. Custom paint and body work by Casey Brissom at Casey's full custom interior. Whip the tape deck and it all works. Full custom console. with the bag to match. C10 Club, North Carolina, and ripping Twisted Concepts. Walk around in my truck, 6-0. Daily driven, 1978 Silverado Big 10. Truck's name is Dorothy because she survived a tornado. Back in 2016, had the truck for almost 15 years now. Fairly clean, a little bit of rust here and there. No 
And I've also got my 1973 Cheyenne Super. It's going to be the next project. It's a factory wood grain truck. Pick this one up. Without a motor. Ended up getting a four bolt 350 from a friend. That'll be the next fun cruiser. Plan on dropping it down. Some A ride, 20 inch Detroit Steels, painted ochre. Camper is just temporary. Protect the bed a little bit more. It's got pretty decent surface rust, but it'll be cut and brought up. So that way we can get it all the way on the ground. Those are my two trucks. So this is my uh, 1983 Suburban 350 engine, turbo 400 transmission, pretty much everything stock on the engine as far as uh, that goes. Flowmaster exhaust. It's got a DJM suspension, DJM upper and lower control arms in the front, drop spindles, uh, Beltec sway bars, front and rear, uh, slosh tubs, uh, wheel wells in the front for some clearance. Things work great. They're the mild tubs. Future plans for this truck is to, uh, like everyone else pretty much wants to do, is do an LS swap to it. Um, truck was a little faded when I first bought it about six years ago polished it all out compounded it wet sanded it the whole truck is ceramic coated wheels are ceramic coated 20 inch American racing wheels over the winter I did the uh, seats the seats were pretty shot but they're all reupholstered new foam new springs local shop here in New York did it for me dashboards all stock as far as the engine goes like I said that was pretty much stock but it's clean it's got a hundred and seven thousand miles on it drive it as much as I can except for in the winter time when it snows but uh hope you guys enjoy Love the United by Trucks page. It's great. You guys are doing a great thing. Hope everyone stays safe out there in this quarantine. Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Zach from Long Island, New York. Uh, first of all, I just want to say thank you to UBT, United by Trucks, for giving everybody the opportunity. I think it's very cool you guys are doing this. You know, it's nice to see everyone else's rides and see, you know, different tastes. Uh, I got my 87 GMC R15. Uh, I picked it up. Over the winter, I got it shipped from Tennessee. Uh, I did all the work to it. I bought it from the original, well, almost the original owner. It's a one, one owner titled uh, vehicle from South Carolina. Uh, guy passed away and uh, somebody swooped it up who knew the family and I ended up getting it off him. Um, I cleaned it up for what you see. I cleaned it up, all original paint, no rust. Um, I came with the white steelies. I got a good deal on these rallies. I uh, cleaned them all nicely. Basically, I did a four and a half in the front, mostly Beltec stuff. Uh, six in the back flip kit. I ripped out the carpet. I cleaned all that, polished everything up. Um, it's a four three, unfortunately, but again, one owner, and that's what sold me. No radio. It's base base model, three on the tree, which is awesome, and I love. Uh, I thought that was a very cool touch, and again, the guy ordered it like that, so I thought, think that's even more reason I wanted this. I wanted this truck. Um, like I said four and a half, six in the back. Next thing, the biggest thing I want to do is the uh, smoothie bumper from the Blazers uh, and the Suburbans, nicknamed Nilla Wafer. Again, short and sweet. I got some plans for it. Right now I'm rocking it for what it is. I did all of, you know, all the work and I'm loving how it sits now. Thanks again, UBT. Be well, everyone be safe. I'm honored to be here today in the 
Texans. Beautiful Texas weather. We're gonna check out this 1977 C10. I acquired this truck locally uh, from a gentleman named Rick. Um, he had the truck for sale and I didn't really need another truck, but when I saw it, white top, blue paint, reminded me of a truck that I had when I was 15 uh, that my dad had actually bought new in 1978. So I thought it was a good fit. I wanted to buy the truck. And what you see here today, I call Sorority Girl. After being to a few shows and meeting five or six people that have owned it, I figured that was a fitting name for a, a beautiful C10 like this. So the Sorority Girl. So the Patina, 1977. One year only, gold trim, blue, white, blue combo. It's really like the holy grail for C10s, in my opinion. And this is a perfect example of weathered paint you can enjoy, you can drive. You can travel in it. You don't have to worry about washing it all the time and not scratching it. Um, and as far as I know, this is 90% original. So the interior on this truck uh, has an original seat. So it still has some medallions in the back of the seat, which is super cool. Uh, we've put new carpet in it. It's got a new dash from USA One. We've upgraded with the gauge pack from Dakota Digital Gauges. Um, they did us a favor, put our logo on it for my business, Pro Touring Texas. Uh, so when I started building this truck, I thought to myself, what's the latest and greatest technology? How can we take this to the next level? Everyone's building cool trucks, doing cool things. Uh, so what I came up with is a 2019 LT1 Corvette engine. We did a TSP CNC head, we did a TSP stage two cam, and we went with the 10 speed automatic transmission to really take this thing to the next level. We wanted the, the newest of the new, the greatest technology uh, to make a classic truck, a new truck that you can use every day. What you see are heart fab inner fenders, Detroit Speed Master Booster, uh, wiper motor, uh, it's a Holly front accessory drive, and just we try to take everything and make it as clean as we could to do the installation as nice as anyone would want it. So when it came to, to wheels, we really wanted something that was aggressive, kind of kind of pro-touring, uh, but still streetable, something that you can drive across the country, be comfortable in. So we called our friends at Build Specialties and we came up with an antique magnesium color to really set off that gold trim. The front here is a 19 by 10. It's wrapped in a Nitto Envo rubber that's real sticky. It's nice and smooth, doesn't make a ton of noise. It's just a really nice package that can do anything. And on the rear, we went with a 19 by 12 to really fill out those wheel wells and get a 345-30-19 tire on there. Again, Nitto Envo, nice and quiet, plenty of sticky, uh, great to drive. Um, we really just wanted a package that you can enjoy to do anything with. And of course you can't miss the bare brakes hiding the American flag behind those spokes. So when it came to stopping power, we wanted something that can be really aggressive, but also something really comfortable when you're just driving. So we had to call our friends at Bear. They came up with a package that's 14 inch rotor, front and back, with a six piston caliper. And it's sporting the American flag to really show um, the American greatness that is the C10. So Eric, let me ask you a question. What does the Issa farm truck mean? Um, it really didn't have a, a real meaning. I was just playing on Instagram. I'm, I'm almost 40 and you know, I'm just trying to keep it interesting for the internet. So I put, it's a farm truck on there and, and people love it. I love it. Uh, and I try to treat it like a farm truck. So I'm throw crap in the bed and drive it like I stole it and, and then just enjoy this thing. So the stance on this truck is thanks to Ride Tech uh, suspension. The, the front is a full coilover conversion plus their lower arms are a set of prototype arms uh, that'll soon be in production so we can put a 315 tire in the front of these trucks. Um, so we're gonna test those parts and get them ready for everybody else that wants to do this with a truck. The rear is a four link setup with double adjustable coilovers in the rear. And I like to set my vehicles up just a little bit above the rim so you get a little bit of tire, but no space between the tire and the trim. So, so the bed on this truck was cut into a thousand pieces, really. It was on air ride when I acquired the truck. This was just open and it had the airbags on the sides of the notches. And 
when we decided to convert it to, to coilovers, uh, we took off all the bag stuff, put on uh, the wide wheels and tires, called Auto Metal Direct, and had them send us this four inch widened tub, fit it in here, and, and thankfully when I bought it, I got the, the pieces that had been cut out of the bed. And we used those and a new bed floor from AMD to really piece this thing back together so it's a usable truck again, because nobody wants to lose something out of a hole in the bed of their truck, right? So what you see is just a usable truck, um, trying to make what we had work. Hey United Road Trucks, this is Rob Hackler from Clinton, Tennessee. I'm sending you this video to show off my K20 1982 I've had since 1984. I uh, just got done giving it a new paint job from the frame up. Uh, has been changed to an 85 to 87 grill and front bumper. I uh, just like the look a little bit better. Uh, it's sitting on a two and a half inch rough country lift with 305 70 16 tires and 16 by 10 inch pro comp wheels um, it's a dual tank long bed as you can see um, pretty much stock looking truck um, motor is a 355 with sniper fuel injection um, headman headers uh, everything else is pretty sanitary um, under the hood on the inside I rebuilt it with a bunch of stock old new old stock parts new GM dash pad door panels stuff that I had laying around it's a NV 4500 four, 5 speed transmission with Dakota digital VDX gauges Uh, the only outside modification is a good mark cow hood. Hey guys, this is my 86 Chevy C10. It is all original paint, 350 small block. This is coming out pretty soon. Uh, this bill is a little different because I'm replicating my high school truck I had in the 80s. These front wheels actually were on my truck in the 80s. Uh, the back wheels I had to buy no, another wheel because uh, my one of mine could be saved. It's kind of hard to find. But it, like I said, it's an original paint truck. It's been sitting in a barn since 2000. I got it out in 2017. It's been sitting there since about 2011. Uh, motor was bad, so got a little bit done on it. Good truck, though. No slop in the door. Very minimal rust. Solid rocker, solid floor pans. Interior's decent. So, this is it. Thanks, appreciate the chance of being on the channel. Here's my 1977 Sierra Grande. She's got some new wheels and tires. Eights in the front, tons in the back. Gotta kind of shine up them tires, clean them up soon. I just put them on too. I've got absolutely less than a half a mile on them tires. Just drove it up the road. Excuse the mess, this is from winter time. I have a whole bunch of bags that I saved up because we walk our dogs and Andrew Cuomo uh, band bags. There's my shifter. Three on the tree. Put her in neutral. Make sure the parking brake's on. It is. 
I got to put new door panels in. I got them in the garage. I just got to put them in. Got to warm up a little. There we go. There she is. Next, we'll be lowering it a few inches in the back. Lower the front a little bit. Get this thing down a bit so it looks better. And there she be. All right. Original engine, it was sitting in the garage, this, this truck was. Untouched for about 20 years. The previous owner uh, put a new steering, steering box in. Uh, bumpers, uh, he did some work on it, tried uh, restoring it. It's got some original paint and then down below it's got some new paint that he he did. He did a pretty good job. Okay, let me shut this door. Oh. Yeah, it needs, a, it needs a little work uh, as far as paint goes in the future. And it also needs uh, to be lowered a few inches in the front and back, and I think it would be perfect for just my little summer ride. There she be. Hey, UBT crew. This is Steven Hendricks, 85 Chevy C10 pickup. We call Eddie. Give you a quick look at it. U.S. Mag Hustler wheels, 20s front and rear. It's got a Beltec 4.6 drop with a half a round cut off the front springs. Wound up with six in the rear, five in the front. Does have a bolt in C notch. Dad bought this truck new. First week of July 1985 from Cody Chevrolet in Dahlonega, Georgia. Inside is a work in progress. Gotta have that fire extinguisher, boys and girls. Never know. Under the hood. Three eighty three stroker. Aluminum heads, Holly System X aluminum heads, turbo 350 transmission. It's just got a little mild cam in it, nothing wild. Didn't want anything finicky. Runs good, drives good. It does not mind these hot Georgia days. We run it with the AC on, does good. I'd like to thank Robbie and all the UBT crew getting us a chance to show off our trucks. Appreciate all they do for us. Enjoyed seeing everybody's trucks. Catch you on the next one, guys. What's up, guys? This here is my 1985 GMC 3500 Dually. Got a 5.7 drop on it. It's a Western chassis suspension. I ended up buying it from Switch Suspension out of Arizona. Eric from Pro Touring Texas installed the drop kit for me. We've got these 22 inch semi Alcoas on there, wrapped in 265 3522. This is the original color, faded black and dirty. The rear fenders here are called Eclipse Tuck Fenders. They're actually three inches taller than the factory ones. So when you lay it out, you won't rub them on anything. The truck's nickname, Stiffy, as you can see from the uh, sticker on the uh, bumper. It's that factory maroon. On the dash, I have wrapped in black leather. Nothing special, just a gas guzzler. All right, guys, this is it. Thank you. 
What's up, United by Trucks? This is Dakota Penley here. I'm 15 years old. This is my 1985 GMC Sierra. It's got a 406 in it with a turbo 350. It's got a set of US mags, nines in the front, 12s in the back, very wide lip, love it. It's very just classic interior, clean, which is what I like about it. Love it to death and I love what y'all are out there doing for the truck community especially the square bodies c10s any type of c10s doesn't matter what year they're all good looking trucks and i want to thank y'all for putting the opportunity out there for me to showcase my truck what's going on everybody this is my 1984 gmc step sign uh, i've had this truck for quite a while uh been something i've been working on um doing this is my first first truck that i've ever pulled frame off and and done things like that so i've been taking it as i go enjoying it uh learning on learning every day when i work on it it's it's been a lot of fun um i've had it frame off the frame has been uh painted and coated and all that I've got new wheels and tires got the phantom grill on it now um when i originally got the truck it was uh all blue with the 350 small block and uh and trans and so i've ended up buying a long wheel base parts truck and the cab in the front end ended up being a lot better shape so i ended up using it um just been getting a lot of the body work getting on some repairs done on it getting it ready for paint hopefully we'll be doing paint rather sooner than later um suspension as far as suspension uh, it's not it's just a flip kit in the rear it's been cut springs in the front um sits pretty good it rides really good it's a really fun driver um as of right now i've got a 454 big block and a 400 trans in it that i pulled out of a motor home um The old blue 1987 Chevrolet Custom Deluxe four wheel drive. One owner, that would be me. Used the truck for 30 years, was fairly stock most of its life, except for dual exhaust and a little stereo. Um, pulled a lot, campers, trailers, hauled tractors, been in the snow for 30 years. It's been a good truck. About three years ago, Started spending money, jacked it up, redid all the suspension, went through several options on the running gear. Truck's got 132,000 actual miles on it. The uh, running gear is basically stock. It is a 350 fuel injected throttle body. Um, needs to be cleaned. Next project, cleaning and painting. Um, has aftermarket air conditioning that worked for about five years, and I've worked on it ever since. The uh, interior is, of course, uh, it was a custom deluxe truck, so it had a rubber floor mat and plastic seat. I have since put carpet in it. Need to have the seat done. It is a granny low four speed. Greatest thing ever. Pulls like a big block. Had it painted inside and out. We took the bed off, doors off, fenders off, glass out. Spent a pile of money. The uh, lift kit is a shackle flip from off road design. It is a four inch soft ride. It was a quad shock truck when it was new. It has shackle flips, um, all a bunch of off-road design stuff. Really good old truck. What's up, United by Trucks? This is Caleb Sharp. This is my 76 C10 with a 454, 700 R4 transmission. I got a 373 gear out back, a locker, uh, got 15 by 10s all the way around, 275 60 15 tires. I just painted it, spray painted it. 
did all the spray paint myself. Um, I have a YouTube channel, C Sharp 812, if you wanted to check it out. Right now I'm in the process of putting in my mirrors, putting in new mirrors, and uh, putting in new handles. Trying to clean it up, changing all the, the weather stripping on the vent windows, on the regular, on the door windows and the door seals. Changing out all that stuff, changing the door handles, the door mirrors. Um, I have to replace the windshield, the back window, and replace all the weather stripping on that too. Um, so I got a lot of work. Got, got to do the body mounts, cab mounts, all that stuff. I'm going polyurethane with that. Thank y'all. Hello guys, my name is Carlos and this is my 1973 LS Swap 5.3. What I've done to it is everything is pretty much stock. Bought everything new accessories wise. Uh, I painted the engine bay, you know, to make it look nice, a little better. Uh, made these Chevy plate in the LS in my school, in my welding class, you know. Everything's rusty. I like the patine look on it. I think I'm gonna keep it like that. The interior, it's everything stock. And I have a shifter saying mineral light. Um, everything's stock. Got some stickers, square body. This is how I made my seat look better with the blanket. Yeah, this is my 73. Um, my plans are, you know, change the transmission as a 400. I want to put a 4060 and have some fun with it, but and lower it. And I'm hoping to take it to LS Fest this June in Vegas. And this is my project truck. Thanks and have a good one. 86 Scottsdale 10 uh, Lord on McGuffey's or McGoy's or whatever uh, spindles and cut springs uh, Flip kit in the back Got the grandpa bumper on there It's got a Turbo 400 with a full manual valve body. Uh, the stock valve body has been converted to full manual. Interior is a little bit rough. Camaro seats. Killed off shifter. It's a 454. Uh, that's the next project is to rebuild it and uh, get it running better than it is. It's got a quadrajet carburetor that's trash. And that's Peter, my 86 Scottsdale 10. What's up, guys? A little shout out here from Southwest Kansas. Figured I'd share a little bit about my C10. This truck is actually my daily driver. I drive it back and forth to work every day. I really enjoy it. The suspension um, has got, I believe it's a two inch lower in the front and four in the back. It's spindles and different leaf springs in the back. Otherwise the suspension is pretty much factory other than it being lowered. Um, Drivetrain wise, I put an LQ9 six liter in it with a 4L80 transmission and a Posi 410 rear end in it. So that's not bad for a little, little run around truck. Um, for mods, uh, future things I would like to do, I would like a little more power. So maybe supercharger, maybe heads cam, something like that. 
um, maybe in the future. Um, as far as the interior goes, I'll show you guys the interior. I would like to restore some of the interior. Uh, the seat needs to be reupholstered. Um, the rest of it's not too bad. Uh, new seat belts, maybe some stuff like that um, that I would like to do. Um, I would also really like to do a vintage air system on it. This is not a factory AC truck, just a base model. So I would really like to put a vintage air in there, uh, restore some of this, make this look a little nicer, um, put some power brakes on it, just little things like that to try to try to make the truck look a little sharper under the hood. But yeah, that's basically it. Figured I'd share it with you guys. Hi guys, welcome here. Yeah, I'm Tony. This is our 1984 C10 long wheelbase. Welcome from Tallapoosa, Georgia. It's a nice hot day out here. We're in the shade a little bit. We've got long wheelbase, billet grill. The wheels are all rallied with the spinners. So they're all the same. Got the beauty rings, they look good. The truck itself needs a little paint job. We're gonna get it painted. We're gonna lower it. We gotta get the rear end locked up. It's on a limited slip. We gotta definitely have positive traction under it. Under the hood, fresh rebuilt 454. With a brand new 700R built to hold it, that Just way I don't tear it. Up. Go around here, look at the interior. Everything's factory on the truck, pretty much, except for the gauges in here. We have power locks, power windows. We got to get new door panels. We're gonna put a new dash pad, all new carpet, new seat. We're getting it redone. We're gonna hurry. We're gonna go all the way through. Back rallies. The, back the, the inside the best factory. Probably gonna leave it alone for now. It's our fishing truck. We go everywhere in it. It's our daily driver. We drive it when we do truck stuff. So it ain't gonna be no show truck, but we love it. We got dual tanks. This side, same thing. Go put new trim on it, lower it, paint it. But that's our truck. Love to see y'all. Thanks. Have a great day. 1987 GMC short short box. Two wheel drive, two inch cowl hood, five five drop, BFG tires, drip guard, chrome step bumper, doing black interior, custom cup holder. Some wipes, keeping clean, keeping healthy. Hey, United by Trucks. I think it's a cool deal that y'all are doing this, and I'd really like to take a be a part of it. Uh, I've seen a lot of beautiful trucks already posted, and I'd like to share mine if I could. 1985 C10 Silverado. Found this truck, been abandoned in a tobacco barn for eight years. Pulled this thing out. Brought it home, took it all the way down to the frame, brought it from the frame back back up. Everything from front to back's brand new. All western chassis drop, Bell Tech shocks, been relocated in front and rear. All wheel wood brake sil uh, brake assembly and master cylinder. Everything is hard lined with braided hoses. Here's your little bit of the interior. Believe it or not, my wife designed this truck. This is hers. So any of you ladies out there, don't be afraid to jump in there with your men and help them. This right here is a girl's truck. She designed this truck by herself. The color, the drop, the wheels, the interior, everything she designed. I think she's done an outstanding job. Took me two and a half years to build it. Show you under here. Like I said, all wheel wood brake assembly, braided hoses, braided brake lines. It's a 385 scat crank, Eagle six inch rods, SRP pistons, Rodex aluminum heads, Crowler valve drain. 
even named it the Widowmaker. Come up with that name because the dang thing about broke me and killed me at the same time. Guys, if you let your wives get involved too when they see all them packages on the back porch when you come home, it makes it a little easier to explain. All right, guys, I hope y'all like this. Y'all keep them other trucks coming. I've enjoyed watching the videos. I hope you guys like this one too. Peace out. Everybody be safe. Hey, big shout out to United by Trucks. What's up, Peco? What's up, uh, Teddy? Hey, I got a 1986 Chevy Silverado. I've been working on it for a couple years. Let me show you what I got going on. I got a brand new hood on there, a stock hood. I didn't want the cow induction. You know, used bumper there. Got some staggered US mags. 22, 22 by eight, 10 and a in the rear, 22 by eight and a half in the front. Up, paint is kind of patina. A lot of people want me to go ahead and uh, leave it like that, but eh, I kind of kind of want a little paint on it. The body's pretty straight though, you can see. Bed looks good, not bad at all. Not bad. I got my slider. Gotta have a slider, you know. Got a pretty nice stance on it. Interior need a little, little TLC, but hey, I'm working on it. I like that slider. <laughs> so let's look on the hood. There it is. Got a 6.0 Vortex Max. Um, running a 350 turbo transmission. Got a locker trans uh, rear end with a 373 gears. Pretty torquey on the highway. But there it is, fellas. Hey. 1986, Chevy Silverado, straight out of Little Rock. Cue the music.